Yo, what's up, Swole Bodies? Welcome back to another B Boruto reaction. Today, it's another great day to be a Swole Body because if you're watching episode 109 of Boruto last time in episode 108, it was like a Halloween special episode. We saw a guy, Kakashi, Mirai, and Tintin battle a ghost. Turned out to be some chick whose mom died. It was kind of kind of sad, but then at the end, we saw some dude in armor. Really interesting episode. This arc has been quite the interesting arc for different reasons from the rest of the Boruto arcs, but we are just going to get into episode 109. If you are new and you subscribe, to get plus 10 game Patreon down in the description below. If you guys do want to support the channel, become a Dio protein powder and get early reactions. Also down there's my social medias and my other channel, my anime channel links all down in the description. I highly appreciate it. If you want to go check those out and let's get it. It is so cold in my room, but I recently moved. So I don't have like any warm clothes at all. Awesome on Shikamaru. Awesome has been like mentioned a lot, obviously. Man. Damn, rest in peace, Awesome, bro. He had a good beard. Which one is the king? Yeah, Mirai still. Shikamaru gave Mirai that same test and she hasn't got it yet. So Shikamaru's older than Awesome was here. I'm pretty sure. Man, bro. Rest in peace. The king. Yeah, she's like 19 now, I think. Who the king is, bro. Damn. Why bring so many feelings, bro? Is it me? Am I tripping or is Kakashi sounding a lot more like Jiraiya as he's getting older? Listen to this man. Or am I tripping? Like, it's still Kakashi, obviously, but he's putting on more like a deeper groveler. Grovel? Is that the right word? I don't know. But like that kind of voice that like Jiraiya had. Obviously, it's because Kakashi's getting older and he's getting like a bit of an older man's voice. I really hope he plays an important role like uh, like Jiraiya did. Tatsumi, yeah, that's her name. Aww, she's bringing a picture with her. Damn. Oh, she's going to say Kur and I, but yeah. Kakashi was saying that it's like both. She's a lot like Asuma too, but she doesn't, yeah, she doesn't know Asuma. Okay, here's actually a question I have for y'all real quick. Real quick. I know I'm pausing quite a bit. So would you rather your parent or your parents die before you were born? So you don't know the pain of like losing them? Or would you rather lose them when you're like, I don't know what age. Or would you rather lose them like before you're an adult? Like teenagers like slash when you're a kid. Because because if you lose them before you were born, you won't know the pain. Like you won't know the pain of losing them because you never had them to begin with in a weird way. But you don't get to experience them. You have no idea what they're like, like Mirai doesn't know. And obviously the reverse is the same if you lose them later in life. You'll get to know them, you'll, you'll know your parent, but you'll feel that terrible pain of losing your parent at such a young age because it's really, it's really interesting. I mean, I guess I would rather lose my parent later in like before I'm an adult. So I would actually know them and appreciate them for like who they were. But it's such a tough question. That's, that's probably a really unfair question to ask because it's so tough. Yeah, I think I'd rather go through the pain, but actually know them. I think that's my answer. <laughs> I love how guy's still the same. He got the wheelchair away. Okay, but I got it. I love how guy's still the same. He's still the same old guy, bro. Yamada. Yamada. <laughs> oh, Lord. Did Madara summon a third meteor or something? Damn. Oh, it's just nah. It was obviously Madara, bro. It was obviously Madara. Damn, that's so sad, bro. That he's not that old, but yeah. Hey, Kakashi could uh Shinden it. Shinden. I said Shinden. I meant Shinden. Uh oh, something fishy's going on. Wait, he drank it through his mask. Oh, that's why the bottle was right there. I thought that something was fishy. It's because it was covering Kakashi's face. Come on, bro. No, guy definitely isn't. <laughs> I think he's already getting lit. Damn, that's true. Damn, they really tried. The hidden steam, true. What are they doing? Several young women have gone missing. Oh, no. Serial killer on the loose? Nah. I mean, they're there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, little did they know they got the six Hokage in my guy. Like, they are legends. They are legends. Even if the new generation doesn't know, like, what they've done. Bro, eight gates, blue Susano, Kakashi, the copy didn't. Bro, I'm a fanboy. I'm sorry, I'm a fanboy. I mean, you're talking to the six Hokage. <laughs> well, that's that's a cool shot, though. Uh oh, Mirai's taking the sleeves off. Hey, I'm sure Kakashi could break that hoe up, though. Potatoes roasted in an underground pit. Bro, that sounds so good. Anime food always looks the best. 
Oh, damn, deep question already. I like Kakashi's new clothes. Near impossible. What if you break it up, though? Break it up into smaller pieces. Oh, hell yeah. You know the boy Kakashi, bro. Choji? <laughs> Choji's gonna come in here and pick that hoe up and yeet it. The strongest man in the hidden leaf. Damn. Oh, Lord. Oh, wait, who is this? Oh, it's Choji. What is that aura? Choji the Chad. Who <laughs> lived through the Great Ninja War. And he did help out a lot through that war, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> Man's is hungry. <laughs> Definitely know where Chocho -Cho got it from, brother. 30 minutes? Come on, bro. <laughs> This man fought for hours in the fourth ninja war and now now it can't last 30 minutes, bro. 30 minutes? Bro, I wish I had Choji's power. You know how sick that would be? Just to eat all the food you want and then go butterfly mode and then you get skinny again. Bro, that'd be so sick. Man. Jeez, bro, they aren't potato chips, they're actual potatoes. Relax. He knows exactly. Oh my god. He needs more fat. Potato. Are they going to make potato? Look at Choji chilling back there. <laughs> They're really going to be making potato chips for this man. <laughs> All right, Choji. Thin and crispy. All right, brother. <laughs> yeah, he's perfectly fine when he's critiquing the potatoes. The five senses come alive. Asuma. Oh, yeah. Aww. Aww. What you can do right now, exactly, bro. I wish I could have could have met Asuma, bro. <laughs> yeah. Very blunt. Awfully vague. <laughs> Aw, man. Chocho and the rest of Team 10. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they got those when they became Chunin. Yeah, when it became Chunin, yeah. Aw, oh, man. Damn, bro. That's what kind of sucks about the riding of Borto so far, too. Like, my biggest problem, or not my biggest problem, but a problem I do have is they're talking about Asuma a lot. Obviously, this is, like, anime canon and stuff, so it's not manga canon. But, like, the problem I have is they're reminiscing about Asuma and talking about, like, like how we used to be and stuff. And he's explaining to Mirai because Mirai is his daughter, obviously, and everything. But they don't do that with the people who are alive right now. Nobody talks to Boruto about how awesome Kakashi was or how influential Kakashi was or Yamato was or Jiraiya was. How influential they were on Naruto and even how influential Naruto was as a person in his teenage years. That's just one example. You don't hear... You don't hear anybody talking about any members of the older generations, like of Naruto's generation or Jiraiya's generation or Minato's generation or anybody. You never hear anything about anybody. Because right now this is giving me like a lot of feelings stuff, especially because Asuma did die. It'd be awesome to see other people or the, the new generation learn about how awesome their parents were, tell stories and stuff. Sometimes I'd like to see that a little bit too, like an episode here, an episode there. Because Borto kind of got that from Sasuke with, with Naruto and he kind of learned how awesome Naruto was and stuff from Sasuke, but it wasn't like any story or anything too substantial it's just like you need to focus on who naruto used to be but nobody tells any stories how could boruto possibly know what naruto used to be like if nobody tells him anything it's not like a huge issue obviously boruto is still a shonen but i would like to see some anime canon or some fillers or something of them telling telling the new generation some old stories about like Madara, about Kaguya, about like all these people, about the Uchiha. At the beginning of Boruto, I did criticize that. Like nobody knows about the Uchiha at all. Not even Sarada. She has to learn through a damn book. And people were like, well, would you want to know that your dad was trying to take over the world and stuff and your uncle killed your entire clan? That's like tragedy. But what are you supposed to do? Like not learn about history? Like, imagine, imagine that. Like, imagine, I'm not going to go into, like, specifics or anything. People try to argue that for the Naruto universe, but imagine that in the real world. Like, we're not going to teach you about history, about the bad part of things, because nobody wants to know. That hurts your feelings. What? What do you mean? That's like history. You're supposed to learn from it. There's, like, the saying, if you don't know your history, history will repeat itself. If you don't, like, try to correct the mistakes and stuff. Because humans are obviously not always sunshine and rainbows, bruh. 
like Donzo. And what I just said, well, that was just for people who were like, no, we sh they should not learn about the history, about everything, about the Uchiha and everything. It's too dark. Like, what do you mean it's too dark? There's a lot of dark things in history that, that we learn in real life, bro. <laughs> Choji. Back to more important things, though. The potato chips. Damn. Does he approve, though? Mm. Oh, Lord. Did they put salt on him? <laughs> okay, it passed Shoji. Damn. Damn, look at him go. I love Kakashi's outfit, bro. It's so sick. I love the blue. We're matching, bro. We're matching. Let's go, Choji. Big sucker, Choji. Super expansion. Damn. <laughs> the super expansion. <laughs> yep. Let's go, Choji. Look that hoe up. Damn. You're in Damn, bro. Okay. Mirai's getting in. Good <laughs> guy. <laughs> Let's go, guy. Now the villagers are getting in on it. Let's go. Outshine us. I think they already have, brother. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's moving. Oh, yeah. The butterfly popped out. It's over. Butterfly mode engage. Bro, it's over. Let's go, Choji. Damn. <laughs> He launched that hoe. It's Fusro dog that bitch. Oh Lord. Damn, there it is. Aw, bro. How wholesome. Um, help the little old lady. Damn. The chat is back. <laughs> Calories too. Bro, that's so dope. I mean, neither could the sixth Hokage. I'm th I mean, you're pretty, you're pretty good, bro. You try. You're pretty, you're pretty good. I, neither could guy, the eight gate guy, bro. But of course, he wasn't eight gate. But you know what I mean. Dude, he looks so different. Awesome, man. Awesome really helped Choji a lot. Man, I remember that. Back then, we had no idea Awesome was gonna die, bro. Like, you can do. Man, if only Awesome could see them now, bro. To protect the king, man. So, Choji knows about the king, too. You have Awesome's quiz. Shikamaru didn't tell her that? The king that Sensei gave his life to protect. He really did. Damn, bro. Why? Why are they going to do this to me? Memories of awesome. Man. Ah, why, bro? Why are they going to do this to me, man? Yeah, <laughs> back with Choji. <laughs> and he's off. Uh-oh. She got a sus. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Why is she asking that? Dude, she looks so much like her and I right there. Does she do something with ghosts or dead people or something? Oh, no, bro. It's her saying that. She has something to do with ghosts, though, is she, bro? Talk to me, sus. My sus radar. My sus meter Oh, yeah. I called that shit, bro. I called that. Yeah, last episode, I was like, my sus meter is going off. My sus meter is going off. But then she brought up her dead mom. It's a cheap shot, bro. That's such a cheap shot. Nobody's going to question your dead mom. The hot spring where you can see people who've died. Oh, wait. Maybe I'm thinking too much into it. Oh. Well, that's sus in itself. But maybe she wants to see her dead mom. Maybe her mom actually is dead, bro. <laughs> now I feel kind of bad. <laughs> this is a really interesting episode. Adding on to the interesting episodes in their own right, bro. Like, we, we had back to back to back. Very unique episodes, I should say. Very interesting. But also, the main point is they're very unique. We had a cat versus dog war. We had a ghost Halloween special. Now, we had Choji talk about awesome and stuff. This is a really wholesome episode, bro. Especially with Meat Eye. I'm happy this is... We're getting, we're getting like, a Meat Eye arc. I'm really happy. And it's still very shocking to me that Meat Eye has not been seen in the manga yet. Which, I do understand a bunch of people are hyped for... Obviously, Kawaki versus Boruto and Naruto and Sasuke. Again, talked about that a lot. Don't know how that's going to happen, but, you know. I know everybody's hyped for that. But just seeing... But seeing the characters and stuff is, like... 
what I feel like Naruto was built on. So I know everybody wants to get there and it's a different age and time for anime. And if you released original Naruto right now in this day and age of anime, it probably would, I would think it might get buried, which is kind of weird to think about because it's such a legendary show now. Most people know about it even if you don't watch anime. It's so weird to think about it now, but it's just such a different era of anime that I do get like the Boruto manga has to like make sure they get to like the hype moments and stuff. But I say original Naruto would get buried because people have such a big issue with all these filler and anime canon in boruto original naruto had i'm pretty sure way more way more so did shippuden people were talking shit about the comments and stuff of naruto shippuden as it was being released during like that filler during during like the infinite tsukiyomi filler so no doubt in my mind would would naruto also get shit on so it's because it's so weird that people like to shit on boruto so much for having filler and everything but praise naruto and naruto shippuden when it had just as much filler like just as much it should be too shocking and even then like these filler are not that bad these anime canon are not that bad i actually really enjoy them i think i went off on a tangent but my point was is that like obviously i'm hyped for the hype fights i'm hyped for the great animation and the old characters and everything obviously who isn't my point is these filler are not bad and i'm actually really happy we are getting to explore explore Mirai's character and see Choji and Shikamaru and Tintin and everybody that you don't get to see in the manga. So I'm really enjoying it. Those are my opinions. Let me know what you guys think also down in the in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Patreon, social medias, and my second anime channel down in the description below. I'd appreciate it.